Hey guys, this is So Heidi with The Successful Fashion Designer, and this tutorial is from one of the viewers' requests, and her question was, how do I add a fill pattern to a cascading ruffle? So let's jump into Illustrator and let me show you how I would go about doing this. What I've done here is I've drawn a cascading ruffle dress, and you can see I used this dress on the left as sort of a rough inspiration of how to draw this garment. Um, I'm very transparent about the fact that I don't draw from scratch. Anytime I draw something, I use an image as a reference. So here we have our dress. Now I drew this using a combination of the pen tool and the pencil tool, and I'm not gonna go into exactly how to draw this, but I'm just gonna draw, talk about conceptually how I've put this together. So let's take a look. The first thing you can see is that I drew the entire bodice outline as one continuous shape. And then I drew this ruffle as just a single path inside my garment. And the reason I did it that way is because since I want to add a fill color, I think it's easier to draw the entire outline of the bodice and then I can add the fill color to one entire shape, which is just the entire garment. Alternatively, if I had two different patterns I was using, let's say I was using a different pattern in this top panel than a different pattern in the bottom panel, then I would want these to be two separate shapes. So I would have just drawn the top half as one shape, the bottom half as another shape. So it depends on your exact needs. But essentially, you're just gonna draw your garment as one continuous shape from the outside, and then you can fill that with a pattern. Now, let me show you a couple tricks that I did to kind of create these ruffle lines. So once I'd drawn the actual outline of the garment, we'll come down to the bottom here. I took my pen tool or my pencil tool, whatever tool you wanna to draw with, and I drew these paths. And typically when you're drawing a ruffle, you wanna draw these lines that sort of emulate the edge of the ruffle and can add a little dimension to your drawing. You wanna add them right where you have sort of any type of corner or bend inside of your ruffle. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see I just added one right where I've got all these little corners and bends. And you can just draw a path here, and let's just actually go ahead and do one. So I'll use the pencil tool. It draws a little bit more organically like a pencil does in real life. And I'm just gonna take off the fill color. I'm just gonna draw with a plain stroke. So I'm just gonna draw my pencil tool here, and I'm gonna kind of swoosh up. And depending on what you're drawing with, I'm drawing with a mouse. If you're using Wacom tablet, you know, this might feel a little bit more organic like you're drawing on pen and paper. Um, I don't suggest doing this with a trackpad. It's really hard to do. So once I draw that, I'm gonna do a couple things. First is I like my stroke weight for these to be quite a bit lighter than the stroke weight for the actual garment. This is a personal preference. I just think they look a little bit more dainty. So I'm gonna drop this down to 0.25. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the profile at the bottom of the stroke panel. If you don't see this, click your drop down from the stroke panel and choose show options. From the profile, you can choose a couple different profiles. I like width profile four for this. What that does is it'll have the bottom portion of the stroke be like a nice flat bottom. I'll undo that and push that back. And then it slowly tapers to a really, really fine point which just gives a really nice soft look in your sketch. Now, if yours did not come on the right side, let's say the flat part is on the top and the pointy part is on the bottom, you can click this little icon right here, which will flip the directionality of that. Now, mine happened to get the right direction, so I'm gonna leave it. From there, to add a little extra dimension, you just take this stroke and you add a fill color to it, like a nice light gray. Now, I could just do this over here. Whoops, and I would wanna add that to the fill color. I could do this over here from my swatches panel. Alternatively, I could grab my eyedropper and pick up the fill color from this. Now, that got a little bit harsh just because of the depth of that curve. So I'm gonna do something here cool. I'm gonna grab my pencil tool. With that pass selected, I'll grab my pencil tool. I'll hover along the edge until I see the asterisk go away and then I can kind of reshape this. And I'm just gonna narrow it in a little bit so it's not quite severe of an angle. And I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, so now there's some tricks on kind of drawing the dimension lines for your ruffles. Now let's add the print. So I will select this bodice and I've got a polka dot print here. As you can see, it's probably not the best colorways. Let's actually fix that really fast. I just threw it together quickly. I'm gonna click on the recolor artwork dialog up here and let's go with a cute, um, maybe gray 
and charcoal polka dot, something a little bit more tonal. That looks good. Now, once I've done that, we have a little bit of a problem because these fill colors are not looking really good on top of the pattern fill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of those and I'm gonna come up to select same fill color and it's gonna select all of the little ruffle lines that I've drawn. Now from here, what I can do is take my, open up my opacity and I can change the opacity from normal to perhaps multiply. And let's zoom in a little bit and see what we got. So what you can see is it changed that fill color and what we might wanna do is make the fill color a little bit darker. So right now it's a really light gray, so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker and see how that changes. So that's starting to look a little bit better. And as you can see, it's really allowing the pattern, the polka dot pattern to show through on top of these ruffles. So again, create the outline of the garment as one continuous path, fill that with your pattern, draw everything else sort of on top of that, and then you can change the fill of all these ruffle lines to something different from the drop down. You can play around with how this looks. You might want lighten, you might want overlay. It can depend on the pattern that you're working with and whether it's a dark pattern or a light pattern, but play with that. Again, if you don't see it up here in the opacity, it's always under window, transparency. I know it's a little bit weird. It's called transparency from the drop down and opacity in the preference bar, but we'll open this up and you can see the transparency panel has got all these options for you. So you can play with those. You also could play with the opacity level if that's something you wanted to mess with. So that is how you add a fill color to a dress or a garment with cascading ruffles. Thanks so much for watching guys. I am so Heidi with the Successful Fashion Designer. I would love to connect with you online. You can follow me on Pinterest or Facebook or go to my website and sign up for my email list. I give away tons of free content and share videos and tutorials and free downloads that you do not see here on YouTube. I would love to see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.